The international community of Banyachigezi ICOB Apex has raised concerns over the need to expand information, communication, and technology studies in schools to address the growing gap in computer literacy. In line with this, ICOB Apex officially announced a project today to establish a state of the art ICT hub at St. Agatha Secondary School for girls in Kokole, Rwanda district. Today, the 18th of October 2024, International Community of Banyakigezi ICOB Apex announces that our next project is St. Agatha Secondary School, where an ICT center and e learning center is being announced and it's our next project. The initiative comes at a time when the school, which has over 800 students, is grappling with a shortage of technological resources, having only 20 functional computers. The project aims to increase computer access and improve students' digital skills to match the demands of the current generation. The ICOB team, led by board members Ivrini Simach Kafunda and Lilian Tumusime, alongside ICT technical expert Rongo Ganasis Tumushabe, visited the school today to conduct a needs assessment. Their visit underscored ICOB's dedication to supporting education and ensuring students in the Chigezi region are equipped to thrive in the digital age. Every Nisimach Kafunda, ICO board member, president of Green Environment Promotion, GEP, and a Rwanda woman MP hopeful, stressed the importance of providing students with the necessary technological skills for future career prospects. She emphasized that the ICT hub will not only enhance students' learning experiences, but also open opportunities in the rapidly evolving technological landscape. At the moment, St. Agatha just has 20 computers, and uh, it was really, really key and priority to ensure ICOP Apex definitely in support with the alumni, with the community and, and everybody ensures that uh, a computer center and e-learning center is really here. Uh, ICT is really very important in this era, you know, most people tend to say, you know, the dot com, you know, era. Uh, definitely without computer skills, you know, it is very hard to really thrive through life at the moment. Evelyn Nisima, I am not formally employed, you know, by any entity. Definitely I founded my own organization called Green Environment Promotion, but everything I do is done online. Skafunda Father called upon the Rwanda community, a remnant of St. Agatha, and well wishes to join hands with ICOB Apex in realizing the goal of establishing a state of the art ICT hub. She also extended her gratitude to Honorable Henry Musasezi, the State Minister of Finance and ICOB Apex Ambassador, for his generous support, especially following his recent participation in the ICOB UK Convention. It would be very unfair if I didn't thank the people that uh, organized uh, this year's convention, that is in the UK, and uh, we had our president, uh, who is still a board member, Mr. Emmanuel, and uh, in a very, very special way, we really want to thank the people who traveled from Uganda and came to UK just to support this cause. And uh, in a very special way, despite in absentia, I would like to thank the Minister Honorable Sir Sisi Henry because he traveled to UK and to a lot to this cause. Lillian Kamsime, another ICOB Apex board member, reiterated the organization's mission to extend ICT education to rural schools and communities in Chigezi. She noted that this effort aims to close the digital divide between rural and urban schools, allowing rural schools to compete on equal footing. With an initiative of people, especially who live in diaspora, who wanted to give back to their communities. And basing on the, where they live, and where we are, their world is more wide. They look at ICT as a, a life-changing uh, skill for the community. And education, being part of the drive to change a community, they identified ICT as one of the factors that can change a community. ICT expert and ICOB IT advisor Rongo Ganassis Tumshave highlighted the difficulties of St. Agatha's first due to limited access to computers and modern software. He pointed out that the new ICT hub will significantly transform students' ability to engage with technology, paving the way for improved digital education. The lab which is going to come here helps you at least to compete in the knowledge economy where we are going, so that you know what artificial intelligence is, okay? 
so that you know how to use a computer to solve world problems. Now, that is the concern that the Banyachigezi, the international community of Banyachigezi, Students to Muchirize, ICT teachers and Agatha revealed that the school's near for students have missed out on taking computer subject this year due to resource limitations. She stressed the need for the community to support ICT development as computer literacy has become a crucial skill in today's job market. Uh, this year we had to not to have a candidate of senior for doing ICT. Reason being, uh, when the new curriculum came, we found that all of the students should have the skills or should touch on the computer. And we happened to have a few computers that could not allow us to carry out the lessons. So we decided to not teach the ICT class. Harrison Katongore, a teacher of St. Agatha Secondary School, welcomed the project, acknowledging the challenges caused by the shortage of computers where the student population far excels the available resources. He placed the school's cooperation in making the project a success, improving digital literacy for the students. So this is the team that we shall work with, all my staff are aware and the students are aware. So I am I'm very, very grateful uh, for purposes of, of us who are gathered here. Mr. Ramonga has raised partner concerns that are not to raise to the board and is going to tell us now what next after his visit so that we see how we go. Last year, ICOB established a multi-million shillings state-of-the-art ICT hub at Chihanga Secondary School in Rishiga District, which is currently benefiting both the school and the surrounding community. Compiled by Mara Mishimwe and Nabas Jamhache for Shigezi Television.